Do you always love to do some kind of experimentation but always fear because of potential effects of your experiment for example that can bring viruses or you know you want to test something which is from an identified developer then worry not we're going to resolve this issue by creating a virtual machine using oracle virtual box if you want to know how to install it then i'm gonna put the link of my existing video that reveals how we can install oracle virtual box in windows 11 device now let's see how we can install latest windows 11 in that for that let's jump into our computer screen and there we go here we can see it what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna start oracle virtual box and there we go so here is how it look now what i'm gonna do next is um let me click here on new and then here we require windows iso and if you do not know how to download it then again i would say i have attached a video that shows that how we can download latest variant of windows 11 directly from microsoft and for your convenience i also have added that video in the description of this one so by getting oracle virtual box and windows iso we have prepared all the ingredient that going to help us to prepare our virtual machine the last ingredient or prerequisite of virtual machine is that you should have enough space on a safer side i would say should be more than 64 gigabyte or you know 80 gigabyte and then your computer ram should be at least 16 gigabyte now let's again focus on our computer screen and here we just need to give our virtual machine a name so i'm gonna give it a name as windows now let me click here on down arrow and let's click on this other that lets you browse your iso now i'm gonna choose this windows 11 iso and let's click on open and here you can see the oracle virtual box automatically detected the version variant and then it was windows 10 before it now automatically changed to windows 11. now here what we can do is we can also um you know simply type username and password here so you can keep it based on your need and then here you can also put these additional values that lets you make the whole process automated but i generally prefer doing customization by myself so what i will do here is i will check this option which says skip unattended installation so that's actually let me choose everything by myself now after skipping this automated process the next step here is hardware let's click on it now based on amount of ram available in your system you can allocate that amount and generally the amount of memory you allocate should be from green zone so in my case i have got 64 gigabyte of memory and then it shows me green zone up to 50 gigabyte but i do not think so that i will be using that much amount of ram so let me actually give this around 24 gigabyte which will be 24 into 1024 that is 24576 so let me put here 24576 and the reason why i multiplied it by 1024 because one gigabyte is 1024 megabyte and then same kilobyte and then like this so these numbers basically comes from exponential of two now uh let me choose the processor that i would like to give this virtual machine so i have 32 cores and i can allocate it which is again on safer side now here you can specify the amount of disk space that you want to give so again um, you can actually check your drive how much space you can give so in my case i will be keeping it in my h drive and then h drive have got 300 gigabyte of space available so based on that um, let me actually make it h first of all and then i think 80 gigabyte out of 300 gigabyte will not make my system crazy so i'm gonna make it 80 gigabyte and then here you further have an option 
to choose a different variant of hard disk type i'm gonna keep everything as it is and now let me click on finish so after creating this whole configuration um let me again go to settings and now here actually let me see further more customization for example system here we have got this tpm 2.0 and then um processor ram we already have defined then um, i'm gonna keep acceleration as it is and then for display uh, we have video memory of 128 mb so monitor count if you are using dual monitor setup so in that case you can also go with two monitor so it's totally up to you and then i'm gonna keep these settings as it is except i will be enabling 3d acceleration and when we enable 3d acceleration we need to allocate more video memory Again, I would say it depends sometime on your PC spec. So by default, enable this and maximize this video memory because even 256 MB is not too much. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna keep all other settings as it is. Now let's click OK. And now let's click on Start. Now our virtual machine is powering up for the first time. And then here we need to press any key to boot from our ISO file. Now here we can see the typical Windows installation setup. And then I have downloaded this ISO based on my own preference, which include English as default language. And then here we can change our time and currency format. So I am from India. I'm going to choose English India. And then keyboard also English India. Now let me click here next. And then I'm going to click on install now. Now if you have got your product key ready, you can enter it here. I'm going to click on I don't have product key for the time being. And then from here, I can choose the variant of window that I want to install. So I would like to install this Windows 11 Pro for workstation. Again, I would say it depends on the kind of license we have available. So based on that, you can choose the variant that you want to go with. Now here is the license term, which if you want to read, you can read that. Now let's click on next, click on custom. And now here simply click on next. Since we are installing this in our virtual machine, so that is why I did not create any other partition. And then I simply clicked on new. Now again, let's wait for a while till the installation process get ended. Okay, so here we can see now we need to provide our own input. So my reason is India. Yeah, that is correct. I can click on yes and then now we need to select the keyboard I can go with English India and then I do not need any second keyboard layout but if in your case you want it you can click on add layout and then in this way you can add another keyboard now let me again go back here and then here I'm gonna click on skip And now here we need to enter our device name. So I'm going to say that virtual PC. And then I'm going to mark it as 13th gen. And now I'm going to click on next. Now again, we need to wait for a while. Now again, let's keep on continuing this setup. Select here how you want to use this PC. So I would like to go with personal setup. Let's click next. And then um, if you want to customize it, and then here you have an option to go with Microsoft account. So let me enter my ID.
now after you enter your microsoft credential it will ask you to restore from this pc um in this case i'm gonna click on more option and then i'm gonna click on setup as a new pc now you need to create your pin so let's click on create a pin and then click ok now simply click on accept then you can skip it again click on skip click on accept windows 11 again will take some time to set up which is the last step so let's wait for a while So finally here we can see we have successfully installed latest and greatest Microsoft Windows 11 in our virtual machine. Now the last setting that we need to do is to improve the overall look and feel of this virtual machine. For that simply click here on devices and then click on insert guest edition CD image. This is quite similar to a VMware tools, um, which is available in case you are using VMware, not Oracle VirtualBox. By clicking this option, what will happen is if I click on File Explorer and go to this PC, here I can see VirtualBox guest edition installation. Now simply click on open. Now click on VBox Windows edition. So basically this will install a software that will make a windows run smoother inside Oracle VirtualBox. So let's complete this installation, which is quite easy. Just few clicks and there we go. We are about to install and now simply click on reboot. Even, even at that time, I was able to feel the smoothness of my mouse cursor. And there we go. Now let me enter my pin. And now let's click here on view and click on full screen mode. Now here we can see the screen is still small. For that, let me make a right click here. And then let's go to display setting. Now go down and click on advanced display and there we go it finally detected the resolution of this monitor which is QSD and believe me guys if I hide this sidebar now even I am not able to recognize that I am inside a virtual machine because here we do not see any sign or anything. So in this way guys we can install latest and greatest Microsoft Windows 11 in virtual machine. So that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And I will catch you soon with one such another video. Till then you take care and bye bye.